Well, hello to everybody, it is Blake. Welcome back to another super exciting video. If you're a regular subscriber of mine, welcome back to my channel. However, if you clicked on this video because of the title, welcome to my channel, you guys. You're in for a treat. Obviously, you came here for a reason because you love Britney Spears, as do I, which is, I mean, not a hard thing to tell based on the room that I'm currently in. But yes, you guys, this is it. This is a brand new Britney Spears Loot Crate unboxing video. So I'm going to show you guys what is in the second box out of the series. There's four in this series, you guys. They're tons of fun, they're super cute. If you didn't watch my first video from when I received the first box a few months ago, definitely go check out that. I'll put a link to it down in the description box below. There was a few issues with it when I received it because of some of the sizing of the items and like the quality wasn't exactly where I thought it would be. So I do have big hopes for this box to see if they either like up to the quality or if it's just like the same kind of like meh stuff. The whole point of these boxes is to give like exclusive items that you can't get anywhere else, which I totally appreciate. And I am subscribed to the Loot Crate Horror Box as well, which is the Loot Fright, which does tons of specially curated horror themed items for horror fans like myself. And they have lots of really cool things that you can't get anywhere else in store. Or if you can get them in store, they're like variations of things that are like specifically limited to the Loot Crate boxes. So that is the same thing that they are doing with the Britney Spears boxes. However, as you may or may not have seen in my first box that I received back, like I said, a few months ago. The items were just kind of like, meh. The sweater that I received was too small, and I did reach out to the company, and they actually commented on my video that I posted as well, and they were like, what can we do to make it better for you? So that was really awesome to see in terms of customer service. So I did reach out to them, and they gave me a new sweater in a larger size, and I went up with the extra large, because I was like, I don't want to risk getting the large, and I'm having the same issue as well. But like I said in that first box, like I typically wear a medium for everything else, and it was like a cropped, the sleeves were like up to here sweater, and it was just, a mess. So I'm not 100% sure if there is a clothing item in this box. I'm hoping that if there is, that it is better suited to like the sizing that it should be advertised um, than the first one because like I said, the first one was just a little bit chaotic. But I did get my larger sweater in the end, which is all good. So yeah, without further ado, we are going to get into opening this box. But before we do that, I want to make sure that you guys subscribe to me. So click that subscribe button wherever it is around on your screen because that definitely helps me out. And also give the video a thumbs up while you're at it as well because I mean, YouTube has changed so many things within the past like few years that uh, every little bit does help with content creators online now. So whether that's subscribing or liking or even commenting like go and comment down below too. say what your favorite Britney Spears song is down in the comment section below mine is lucky by Britney Spears obviously like one of her best songs ever her best album in my opinion is oops I did it again that is the album that I grew up with in 2000 it celebrated its 21st anniversary this year so this box is also specifically themed to that album so not only do I have high hopes in the regard of making it good quality items I also have high hopes that it pleases my oops I did it again fanness because it's my favorite favorite album of all time, not just of Britney Spears, but of all time. It's like one of the best musical pop masterpieces ever created. So I'm really, really hoping that this box lives up to my desires and my hopes and uh, yeah, I'm really, really nervous. I'm also kind of nervous too because on the delivery here, it says Britney Crate 1 and I'm like, oh no, I already received two of the crate number one which apparently there was an issue with sending them out in the first batch or something like that. So they accidentally sent out like doubles of the first box to some people that had subscribed. And I was one of those people that received the two boxes of the same thing. So I'm really hoping this isn't the same box for a third time. I got a shipment email a few weeks ago saying that this box has shipped out. So I'm crossing my fingers that it is actually the right box and not crate number one as it says on here. So uh, yeah, kind of nervous with that. I mean, if it is, you guys will never see this video and I probably won't post it. But um, if it is box number two, then we will continue on with the unboxing and you will see. So let's get into it. So just like the very first box, it says Britney Spears on the front here, which is the same font from the first box, which is from the Britney Spears album, Baby One More Time. Interesting that they didn't do like a different font or different like stylized box. I'm not sure if that's just specifically mine or if it's everyone that has received the second box. I'm not sure if they're doing it in like the album theme or if it's just like generic Britney Spears boxes. But here is the front. The sides have the little heart with a B in it. As somebody corrected me last time, I said a B with a heart. But yes, heart with a B inside of it. The side here says Britney Spears. The bottom has the shipping label on it. I've already cut it open for us to see. So we're gonna see together. Is it the right box? Oh my god, it is. Okay, thank god. I was so nervous, you guys. It is the Oops, I Did It Again box. I can tell just by her face from the album right there. Don't know what the items are inside of here, but anyways, inside the box as well, we have tons of little hearts with bees inside of them, and then it says Britney Spears right here. So, I mean, these boxes are really fun to keep and collect. I still have, I don't know if you guys can even see right here behind me. Don't know if they're on the screen or not, but I still have those first two boxes that I received, um, and I'm keeping them because they're great collector items as well. So, 
Uh, let's see if there is a card in here. There is. Okay, so first things first. Ooh, I just saw some of the items. Brittany, please enjoy. It's a, to Brittany, great. Um, please enjoy the second crate in the new Britney Spears limited edition series. Oops, I did it again. Got copyright 2021 Britney brands under license to Epic Rights. So there is the little place card thingy they have in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, so cute. This is what the item card is. So these are the items that are inside here, a little sneak peek. I'm obsessed, can't wait. There is a clothing item in here, you guys. So hopefully it fits me the proper way. Otherwise I'll be reaching out to customer service again saying they need to change their sizing advertising. So first thing first, let's get into the little uh, stainless steel tumbler. So in every single box that they're doing, they're doing a limited edition stainless steel tumbler for the uh, respective album that they're doing it for. So the first box was Baby One More Time. The second box is Oops I Did It Again. The third box I'm pretty sure has the In The Zone album because I think it's toxic. And then the fourth album I think is Circus. So we'll have to wait and see what those designs look like. But as you can see here on this box, hopefully if it focuses, it says, uh, oh my God, it's literally written here on the back. Um, but oops, I did it again, stainless steel tumbler. Little design there on the side, loot crate, loot crate at the top, says Britney Spears. The bottom with a whole bunch of like copyright stuff. And then on the back, so collect all four. Number one, hit me baby one more time. Number two, I'm not that innocent is what the lyric probably says on here. And then number three and number four are question marks. So we don't really know what they are, but I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure that they are toxic and circus. So let's open this up and see what color this one is. If it's the same as on there, yeah, it's red. So perfect for her, oops, I did it again, red jumpsuit. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, so sparkly. I'm not that innocent. It looks like the exact same as what the Baby One More Time one does, obviously in a different color with different lyrics. Um, and again, like I said in that first video, I don't drink, so I'll just have like water in this or soda or something. Um, but it's super cute, very sparkly, very shiny. Love that. Off to a good start. I love the color. It looks pretty much the same. I have an actual, oops, I did it again, red jumpsuit over here. So this is the suit. Is it the same color? This is a little bit darker, but I mean, this isn't like authentic Britney Spears. This is the one that Urban Outfitters made. We did as best as we could, but I love this. This is super cute. So we are off to a good start so far. So let's set that aside. My camera died, so if the position is different now, I apologize in advance. But let's move on to item number two. So this is a really exciting item that I saw on a little like sneak peek sheet. I'm really excited for this because it is similar to an item that the Britney Spears store released last year for the Oops I Did It Again 20th anniversary. Not even sure if Britney knows that these things got released, but um, for the 20th anniversary of Oops I Did It Again, the Britney Spears website started selling a like limited edition collection of a bunch of stuff that I purchased literally every single item from. And one of the items in the collection was a silk robe and mask set. And it is beautiful, it is shining. It's actually right here, I can show it to you guys as well. It is this little silk robe. So on the mask here, it says, Oops I Did It Again. And then on the front, it says Britney Spears. And then on the back, it says, I'm not that innocent. So this next item here in the crate, I'm feeling kind of goes with that. It's a little bit of a different color, but like same idea. I'm not exactly sure why they think that like, oops, I did it again, would be considered like purple silk, but whatever their vision is, is absolutely fine with me. So this is a silk pillowcase set. It is so beautiful, you guys, it's so pretty. What does it say? It's upside down, so oops. Yes, oops, you think I'm in love. Ooh, it's not just oops, I did it again, you guys. This is oops, you think I'm in love. So that's one of them. And then the other one says, I'm not that innocent. So yes, this does go with that little silk rope that I have back there. And again, it's a different color. You can see it's literally this item right here. So this one's a lot lighter, but same kind of idea. Purple silk, I'm not that innocent, and oops, you think I'm in love. That's kind of interesting because they didn't do just the oops, I did it again lyric, but I mean, I'm definitely gonna put these on my pillow. My bedding that I have is uh, purple anyways. It's all like a dark purple theming, so I feel like these would go really beautifully with that. Love these, they're so soft, so nice. They're like a generic one size pillow fits all by the looks of it, which is good because we know things with sizing have issues. So that is the pillowcase set, love that. Again, a good item in this crate. It's something that you wouldn't be able to find in a lot of places and something that seems like pretty exclusive and fun for it. So let's move on to the third item here now. We have this little set, if you guys can't see here, they're coasters. And based on the one here at the top, I'm thinking they are probably the single titles from the album because there was the four singles. There was Oops, I Did It Again, Stronger, Lucky, and Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know. So I'm crossing my fingers that that's what these are. If they're just random other songs, then I have no idea why they chose those. But the one here on the top that I can see says Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know, which was the fourth and final single from the Oops, I Did It Again album. And there are four coasters in here. So Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know, Oops, I Did It Again, which is yellow, that's interesting. Lucky, oh my gosh, you guys, so exciting, with like the original Lucky font as well. That's, okay, that's a good touch, you guys. I have to show you after. So this is Lucky, 
and stronger. You guys, these are really cool because they did them in the font that the singles had for their cover releases. So Oops I Did It Again, which was like the classic Oops I Did It Again font that she used for the album and the single. And then next up, Stronger, which is the font that was used for the Stronger single cover. If you go and look up like the individual like actual singles from the album and look up like Britney Spears Stronger cover or Britney Spears Oops I Did It Again cover, it will have like that's the font that the song is written in. And then the third one is Lucky with the Lucky font, which is my favorite one, so excited for that. And then the fourth one is Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know with the Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know font. So I love these. My only concern is, let's make sure that they are actually coasters. Yes, they are vinyl coasters. But if this is a sticker, that the sticker would just literally, if there's condensation from your cup, if it's a cold drink, that the sticker would just get worn off. Like it's not like a vinyl sticker or anything. It just looks as if it's like a paper sticker. And I'm not gonna like risk it and try to peel it off and rip it if it is just a paper sticker. But I'm not sure if you guys can see there if it will focus or not. Focus on this, not on me. Yeah, it just looks like a regular like paper sticker, which concerns me because I would absolutely 100% use these as my coasters, but not if they're gonna get ruined because of condensation from a cold drink. I mean, I guess I could flip them over to this side, but even because there's a hole in the center, if the liquid like goes through for some reason and like warps the sticker or starts to peel it off, that scares me. So these might just end up being like a wall decoration for me or something. I might just like put them up on the wall. This one, is, the sticker isn't pushed through on these two. Let's see if I can push them through. One second. I have a little safety pin here that I'm going to attempt pushing a sticker. Got this one. So oops, I did it again is good. Let's try stronger. Yes, we got stronger. Okay, now I'm gonna try and see, based on these little circle holes that I have now, if this is paper stickers or... They're just paper, you guys. I just like, I mean gross, but I just like chewed it and, and bit it and ripped it and they're just paper. So that really does concern me actually. Again, I wouldn't mind if they were like a vinyl sticker or a plastic sticker that you wouldn't have to worry about like warping or getting wet from condensation with a cold cup. But the fact that it's a paper sticker and if you were to put a cold cup down on here and it would like get the water or whatever if condensation drips down and like starts to lift the sticker or starts to peel the sticker off, that would really, really suck. So I will not be using these as coasters. They are beautiful items. But if they were to like get any kind of feedback from this, maybe use a vinyl sticker or something that's like a plastic sticker so that condensation wouldn't warp the paper or start to peel it off because these are so cute and so beautiful and I would absolutely love to use these as regular coasters but I'm not gonna risk it because the last thing I would want to happen is to be like hey friends come over and use my coasters and put a drink down and then go and look at them after my friends leave or whatever and they're like destroyed so these will not be coasters these will be beautiful wall decorations cute item besides the fact that it's a paper sticker maybe that's just me being nitpicky let me know what you guys think down in the comments below would you put a cold drink on top of these and risk ruining them or would you just use these as like a display piece like me okay you guys and then the final item in this box which is the most concerning to me based on the issues that we had in the first box this is a shirt and this is advertised on here as a concert raglan t-shirt and it's beautiful it looks so pretty in the picture we'll have to wait and see how it actually looks here when i pull it out of the packaging and again look at the sizing but here it is. This is the size medium. As I said, when you order your subscription box, like when you place your order for the box, you have to select what size you want for your items. And of course, not knowing what you're going to be receiving in this, I select a medium because that's typically the size that I wear. And because I am subscribed to the Loot Fright box as well, sometimes they will have shirts or clothing items inside those boxes. And the mediums always fit me. I've never had issues with any of the mediums. But in that first box that we got for the Britney Spears one, that medium sweater was not a medium. I don't know what size that was, but it was not a medium. So let's hope that this medium shirt fits more similarly to what the Loot Fright boxes do with their mediums. It is just a t-shirt and not a like sweater or something crazy like that, but it also is a raglan shirt, which is like kind of like a baseball tee. So it has almost like a three-quarter length sleeve. So I'm really hoping that like the shoulder and everything will fit okay too. So let's open it up now and see. And I hope that a medium is actually a medium, right? So let's see. The tag here says medium, Britney Brands. Don't focus on me, focus on the tag. It will not, okay, sorry, let's see. Okay, okay. This might work, you guys. The fabric is very, very stretchy. I'm not sure, what kind of fabric is this? Oh, it's 47.5% modal fabric, or modal, however you say that word, I don't know. I have some clothing with it, and it's like that really stretchy, thin fabric. It feels amazing on the skin, but I don't know how to say the word. So it's 47.5% cotton, 47.5% modal fabric, and then 5% spandex. So it's stretchy and stretchy and cotton, which is great. Awesome for the sizing issues, I guess, if you have them. This looks like it will be a regular medium fit, you guys, though. I am excited about that. I'm gonna step back a bit and see. Okay, looking here in my mirror. This might fit, you guys. This might be a good fit. 
that's cute. Okay, so this is what it looks like here on the front. It's the Oops I Did It Again album cover with a different font. That's a very interesting font because that's not the regular Oops I Did It Again font. As I said, it's the same as the one that's on the coaster. So there that is. And then on the back, that's the font that it typically is. There's tour dates from the concert. So this wasn't an official concert t-shirt, obviously, but it's meant to be like that inspiration kind of style where it's like, ooh, I got this at the concert years ago. So there's all the tour dates there on the back. Let's see if I can find Vancouver is right here. So that's where I live, Vancouver, BC. Don't be creepy or weird. But this is really pretty, so I'm happy with this. I'm gonna try it on right now and see how it fits and show you guys just to make sure that we don't have any issues with the sizing, so wish me good luck, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, you guys, so I have this shirt on. I'm gonna take my scarf off just because it kind of clashes with what this shirt is. And it fits, it's, it's a good fit. It's very cool, very like cool feeling. It doesn't feel like hot, like typically with like regular cotton shirts, they feel heavier weighted, but I'm guessing because it's the spandex and the Modell fabric or whatever it is, it doesn't feel as heavy. Also, when I was putting it on, I noticed this really cool thing here on the arm, that you can see right here at the wrist, is a B, which is really, really fun. So B for Blake, B for Brittany, B for best person in the world. The sleeves are not a three quarter, which is very interesting. I don't know if they're meant to be a full length sleeve or if they are just a weird length in general. I mean, I can stand up and show you guys how they fit, but they're like, an inch shorter than what like a normal sleeve length would be so typically with like raglan t-shirts or baseball tees it's like this kind of length like baseball tee kind of thing right like they have a longer arm but it's not all the way it's like a three-quarter length and these sleeves are kind of like in between a three-quarter length and a full length which is very interesting but it fits here I have to like crouch down because I'm so tall it fits body wise which is great and in the back it fits so, I mean, I like it. Not sure how it will wash. I'll have to make sure that I follow the washing instructions very specifically. I don't want to ruin it or ruin the printing or anything. I'm also just gonna hang dry this because I've had tons of issues before in the past with shirts that I've gotten from online and like the printing like flakes off if you put it in the dryer. So I'm not gonna put this in the dryer, but enough sob story. So anyways, you guys, for the items in the box, like I'm pretty happy with them. Let's look at what we got again. So we got, first of all, the I'm Not That Innocent Tumblr Cup, Britney Spears, red. Don't know why they didn't make this purple then. If they they were following a purple theme with everything else, but I mean, iconic red oops, I did it again, cat suit. Perfect. And next up we had the silk pillowcases, which I love with the interesting lyric choice of oops, you think I'm in love. And then we have the I'm not that innocent pillowcase, which can go with my Britney Spears I'm not that innocent silk robe from her website. And then third, we had the coasters, which concern me because of the stickers. But again, let me know if I'm crazy. Comment down below and just say like, like you're crazy. Or let me know if you would also use these with the risk of ruining the stickers on here because I didn't pay $400 for these boxes to get ruined stickers once I put drinks on them. And then the fourth item was this shirt, which is cute. I'll just like pull up the sleeve, I think, if that's like my issue is that I'm like, I'm not sure if it's a three quarter length or a full sleeve. I'll just like pull it up a bit, you know? I'm like, there we go, like that's fashionable, right? All in all, I am very happy with this box, you guys. I have some nice new wall decorations now with those little vinyl coasters. I have a nice new drinking cup here. I have a beautiful new like sleeping shirt and some new pillowcases and I'm happy. So I give this box a thumbs up. It's a lot better than the very first box that they released with those like random items, the pen and the little notebook and stuff. So I'm definitely impressed with this box. I'm excited to see what box number three holds for us. I'm not sure when that will come considering that it feels like it's delayed. The, like the box is the way they were supposed to ship out. It's supposed to be like quarterly every three months, I think. And so far they've been a little bit delayed, which is understandable. We are in the middle of a pandemic, so I'm not holding that against them. But I'm really looking forward to box number three and seeing what kind of items we get in that box for the in the zone, like toxic era of Britney. The Oops I Did It Again era, as I said, is my absolute favorite era of like any person who ever put out music. So I love this, I'm very excited. I think that the items are super cute. They are definitely curated well. They feel like they're exclusive items that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get anywhere else. I mean, the Britney store and like lots of stores now sell Britney Spears t-shirts, but I love the design enough that it feels like it's exclusive and something fun that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get anywhere else. The pillowcases are super duper fun because I feel like those wouldn't be sold normal places. The vinyl coasters, again, I love because I feel like you wouldn't be able to find those anywhere aside from the fact that they're paper stickers. And then this, of course, is like the constant theme throughout the crate that you will be getting all four of these stainless steel wine tumblers. So I love it. I am very excited. Let me know what you guys think down below by leaving a comment and let me know if you give this box a thumbs up, if you give it a thumbs down, if you think it's better than the Baby One More Time box, if you think that I still have to wait and hold out to see what the next two boxes have in store for us to see if those will be better than this one. Again, I have high hopes for box number three because if I'm this thrilled with this box, I can't wait to see what box number three is gonna have in store for us because I'm really holding it to a high regard and hoping that uh, 
they put some good stuff in there. I just wanted to show you guys quickly here on the Loot Crate website. Here is where you can go to find the Britney Spears crate if you are interested in getting it. So it's a four crate subscription you can do, which is what I did. So you get all four crates and they are guaranteed to get all of the stainless steel tumblers. So yes, you can do all four crates as one subscription or you can buy individual crates. So I think that they do it individually based on like what selection you want, I think. I'm not really sure because I subscribed to all four. So when it says like buy this crate, I'm not sure if you would get crate two or crate three at this point because I think all of crate two has already been sent out. Like I said, mine was a little bit delayed, but crate three looks like it's gonna be amazing. I really hope that that fits because that's a hoodie and the hoodies did not fit me before. So let's cross our fingers that it fits properly. That confirms our toxic theory, you guys, that it's gonna be all toxic themed items with a hoodie and a uh, little crossbody bag there, which is super cute. So can't wait for crate number three now. Wonder when that will get here. So I just clicked on the little like buy this crate here thing and it shows that you can select what crate you want. So if you want crate number one, maybe one more time, you can get that. If you want crate number two, oops, I did it again, you can get that. If you want the crate number three, which is the upcoming crate with the toxic theme, you can buy that. Or if you want crate number four, which is the circus theme, I believe, you can get that. Or what I did, which is the complete set of four, which is $320 US, includes shipping. And like I said, for Canadian with the exchange, it was insane. That's why I was a little bit disappointed with box number one. But box number two, you guys really did it for me. I'm really, really happy with everything that came in that. So if you are interested, head over to lootcrate.com and purchase one of these boxes or all four if you want to. If you're a fan of Britney, if you're on the edge and don't know if you want to get it or not, I would say do it. You can do them individually and then decide what you like based on that. You're only saving a total of $2 anyways if you buy them all together. So like if you're just wanting to purchase two crates or whatever, just do them individually rather than purchasing all four. I'd say like maybe skip out on crate number one because that one was probably the, the least nice for me. I would say buy crate number two. Crate number two was iconic. Crate number three looks like it's going to be amazing. The new toxic themed stuff. Go to lootcrate.com, subscribe to the Britney Loot Crates, tell them that I sent you. I don't get anything for it, but join me in the fandom. And then I'm also still waiting for the Baby One More Time doll subscription as well because they're supposed to be releasing a doll for every single one of these crates. NECA exclusives here on the Loot Crate website as well and I already subscribed to this and already made my purchase and still haven't received this. So I'm not sure what the holdup is, if they're even made yet or what the issue is, but hoping that we get those soon. Cross your fingers because I really, really, really want to get these. Then I ordered it back in like October of last year, I think. And they're supposed to be released like alongside the crates as well. But we still haven't heard anything about these. Still no like mock-up images of what they're going to look like but crossing my fingers that they get here soon because I know they're gonna be cute. They're 11.5 inches, fully posable, custom sewn fabric outfits, styled and accessorized hair, deluxe window box packaging, includes doll stand, hairbrush, and prop accessory from each music video, and each doll is sold and shipped separately, expected to ship in the spring. Well, now it's the summer, and they still have not shipped, so where are the dolls, Loot Crate? Let me know. If y'all are watching this video, comment down below Loot Crate and tell me where these dolls are because I'm still waiting and I'm so excited, so hopefully we get those soon. And also, if you guys saw this amazing shirt that I'm wearing, throughout my video. If you didn't know, that's me. I am a drag performer here in the beautiful city of Vancouver, British Columbia, and I'm very heavily influenced by Britney Spears, as you can probably tell from this photo. See, Carrie Dawn, that beautiful photo of me. You may not be able to tell it looks like me. If you can, thank you so much. Go follow all my socials. I'll post them down in the more info box below as well. I have like some videos posted here on YouTube of my performances, and then I have my Instagram and my Facebook and stuff, so definitely go like all those and check out all those things because I post tons of cool content through there. But if you like this t-shirt, you can buy one and tons of other merchandise as well you guys i have partnered with a local agency out here in vancouver called tuck entertainment and i sell my merchandise online so this shirt that i'm wearing is one of the items that i sell on the website and then i also have some other fun stuff so this is my page here on the tuck shop if you guys head to tuckshop.com slash carry dash don that's me carry don oh my god this is kind of giving me like the oops i did it again theming vibes from this loot crate box which is great so i sell tons of merchandise on here i have hoodies different colors of hoodies different designs this is the design that I'm currently wearing right now in a hoodie format. So if you like this t-shirt, you can get it in a hoodie if you want to be like really warm in the summertime. I also sell tons of phone cases for different styles of phones. There's the Keep Calm and Carry Dawn option. There's the picture image there. This is a shirt that I'm wearing right now, but this is in the black style. There's also different colors that you can purchase. There's this little rainbow one, which is perfect for Pride Month. There's a Keep Calm and Carry Dawn tote bag if you want to carry all your stuff around with you. I got a bunch of these mugs because these are really, really fun. There's also a color changing one too, which is really neat. So it says Keep Calm and Carry Dawn and then it like changes and reveals the words as you pour in like your hot liquid. There's also a bunch of stickers. There's some face masks if you guys want to wear me on your face. There's the hoodie, there's Razorback tank tops, there's the Keep Calm and Carry Dawn t-shirt as well. So tons of fun stuff on this website, you guys. You can go there, purchase it. Every dollar that you spend on your website, if you purchase my merchandise, goes directly to 
help me, which is really amazing in these troubling and uncertain times right now with the pandemic. So definitely go and check out the website. Even if you just want to look around and see some stuff, I sell lots of really fun stuff on there as I showed you guys. And there's some really, really cool items. And I'd love to see you guys rep those. And if you do end up purchasing something or looking at the shop or whatever, buying something and getting it, tag me in a photo on Instagram or send me the picture on Twitter or whatever you do. And I'll repost it. I'll like share it with everyone because I love to see people from around the world or here in Canada or whatever supporting my drag and supporting my art because it's one of my favorite things that I do and I'm so proud of it and I love that I have my merchandise as a way to share with people as well because it's the funniest thing to see when somebody like in public is wearing your face on themselves and like if I'm wearing my shirt out in public or whatever and like seeing people try to be like oh my god wait is that the same person like what or like having people ask like oh my gosh did you see her in concert or something and I'm like yeah, I did. I, I am her. But yeah, so anyways, um, it's really, really fun. So if you guys purchase anything or check out the shop or whatever, post a photo, tag me in it. I'll repost it. I'll share it with everyone because I love to see that. So yeah, go check out that link as well and see if there's anything that catches your eye. Treat yourself to some summer goodness. Get a face mask for you. Get a little mug or something. There's lots of different stuff. So check out that link and hopefully you find something that you like. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And again, like I said at the beginning, you guys, YouTube has changed things recently so every little bit of interaction with YouTube creators really helps us out so whether that's a comment down in the comment section below whether that's liking the video and giving it a thumbs up or even subscribing to my channel which is like the best thing that you could possibly do any little bit that you guys can do to help whether that's subscribing commenting or liking whatever you want to do sharing this video with people sharing with other Britney fans every little bit does help me and I would really really appreciate that so thank you guys so much for whatever you choose to do and thank you guys so much for watching this like I said if you're a regular subscriber thank you again for tuning into my channel if you're a brand new viewer who just happened to click on this video because you love Brittany. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you decide to subscribe and stick around because there's tons more videos coming and obviously two more Brittany boxes too, which I'm really looking forward to. So that's it for this. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you all very soon. Stay safe, happy, and healthy, and happy Pride Month, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.